Hey everyone, so today is going to be my uh, May Favorites video. I haven't made a video in over a week, only because every time I've sat down to film a video, I just haven't felt good. I've actually been sick, and I haven't been sick in probably over five years, which is crazy. I have a really good immune system, like my whole family will get sick and I won't get sick. Like I said, it's been literally probably over five years, haven't even had like a cold. And I have like a cold or something right now. My nose is just filled with boogers. So the very first thing is a bronzer. I showed it to you in my Sephora haul video. Um, it's the Tarte Bronzer. Um, it is the Park Avenue Princess Matte Waterproof Bronzer. Um, and someone actually sent me an email saying that they went to get this and it was really, really shimmery. And this is not shimmery at all. I guess I could show you. Um, it's actually... It's actually completely matte. And I did do a swatch in comparison to Nardos Laguna on my blog, Polish and Pearls. I'll put the link below. But this is a completely matte bronzer, but the regular Tarte Park Avenue Princess is shimmery. This is the matte waterproof version, which I think is a must for summer. If you're looking for a good bronzer, this one is like, oh, I love it so much. I actually use this as a setting powder once I do my foundation and stuff. Actually, I've only been using um, the Origins Vita Zing. I haven't even been using foundation, um, but I will set the Origins Vita Zing with this. So I'll use this as a setting powder, just dust it all over my whole entire face, and then I'll use a regular, like, um, more of a shimmery bronzer on my cheeks and stuff. So, uh, my voice sounds so weird. Um, so I absolutely love this. It's going to be like my summer, favorite summer product. I think I just absolutely love it. Okay, another thing that I have been wearing every single day, which isn't really that exciting, I'm sure, for any of you guys, but it's the Neutrogena, Neutrogena. I can never say the word Neutrogena. I don't know what it is. Um, but it's the Pure and Free Baby um, SPF Sunscreen. And the reason I love this one is because it's all natural sunscreen. So whenever you buy a sunscreen, turn it over and look at the active ingredients. Most of the time it's going to be chemicals, but this one is just titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which are the only two active ingredients you ever want to use in a sunscreen. FYI. Um, and this is a massive one. I actually, my old one is right here, which is almost gone, and they now have this massive um, size, which I really, really like. The only downside to natural sunscreen is that it can give like a white cast, so I've been putting um, bronzer on top of it every single day because you do look a little bit white if you use a lot, which you're supposed to. Um, and for my um, body bronze, I've been using the Sigma Body Brush, the BO5, it's like the Extravaganza, I think it's called. Extrava, yeah, it's on the brush, Extravaganza. And you can tell I use this a lot, and it's just huge and fluffy, and you can do like your whole arms. I do like my arms and my chest and stuff just with like my Smashbox bronzer and it kind of covers up the white cast that the sunscreen gives so I love this brush. I'll put the link down below. Um, okay, the next thing that I got, um, it's the MAC Lipstick in Costa Chic. So yeah, I'm wearing it today. It's like, uh, um, I guess it's kind of curly but it's more like pinky. It's a weird, I don't know, I just really, really like it. And it's actually a frost finish, right? Yeah, it's frost. Frost, which I don't typically go for frost finishes. I have a couple in my makeup collection, but this one is just, it doesn't really apply like a frost. Um, it just looks so, so pretty. Um, and it just looks really, really good with a tan. Uh, speaking of tans, I have two amazing tanning products to talk to you guys about. Um, one I like better than the other, and I have a huge dilemma, which I need your guys' help. So, the first one I got is the Saint Tropez. I actually got this not that long ago, so towards the end of May. Um, it's the Self Tan Bronzing Mousse. I, bronzing mousse. I got this at Sephora, and so many people say this is like the best self tanner ever, and so I wanted to try it. I've never used like a foamy self tanner. This is like a foam pump. Um, you know, this comes out. I'm not going to do it right now. Um... I usually like the aerosol spray ones, but everyone says this is the best, so I tried it, and it's definitely a very gradual tan. I had to use this about three times. I went, like, I used it one day, skipped a day, used it the next day, skipped a day, used it the next the next day, the following day. Ugh, why can't I talk? Um, and it made me tan, but it um, also, once you get in the shower, a lot of it washes off, so... It just kind of gives you a natural sun kiss kind of look, which is maybe why so many people love it, because um, it's not streaky, and when it fades off, it's very, like, gradual. But it doesn't give you like a super dark tan look. Um, and I usually, when I'm taking the time and effort to use a sunless tanner, I want to be like super dark. And this definitely doesn't do that. But it is great for like every other day use. Because you can just put it on like lotion. It dries right away. And yeah, I really like it. 
Um, I will do a review probably on my blog, maybe. I don't know. Okay, the next product is where I need your guys' help because it's so amazing. I love it so much. I use it every single day now, and I'm addicted to it. But there's parabens in it. I know I talk about that all the time. But this is something that I see myself using every single day all over my body. And when I'm doing something, when I'm using a product all over my body, it's a lot of surface area. It's a lot of skin, which your skin absorbs, you know, the products you put on it. Um, so I don't want to use this again once I use this up. I want to find a different version or a different company that makes a similar product without parabens. And I just cannot find one. The Stanley Hansen Airbrush Legs Water Resistant, like, tanner stuff but it's really really weird it makes your skin look like flawless it covers up any kind of like bumps or bruises or anything it almost looks like you have pantyhose on it's pretty much makeup for your body I actually put it on my face today so um the thing that might turn some people off about this is that when you go outside there is like a little bit of a shimmer to it so if you don't want to have like shimmery arms or legs if you're maybe a little bit older and you don't want to have shimmery arms and legs then I probably would say don't get this one. I've been using the Saint Tropez bronzer for like a week and when I put this on it looked like I went from like super pale to super dark and it looked like I hadn't even been using the Saint Tropez. I just I'm obsessed with this stuff. I've used a couple other like instant tanners like this before where you get instantly tan and they come off like very easily with water like if you wash your hands and get a couple splashes on your arm kind of you know little spots um, and this one you don't I when I get in the shower with this until I actually take my washcloth and like kind of scrub it off it doesn't come off so it truly is water resistant it's just amazing and I actually like the smell of this which is really weird but I do I just I'm obsessed with this product like I cannot talk about it enough I love it but there's parabens I've kind of had a weird obsession lately too with like watermelony golden shades of stuff. I started with my um, Bare Essentials Lip Gloss in Destiny, which I showed you in my Sephora haul. It's like a watermelon color with like golden undertones. And then I was at the store where I buy all of my nail polish from, and I saw this nail polish, which is part of OPI's permanent collection. So I'm I'm sure a lot of you guys have this polish, and it just never like jumped out at me. I never felt like I had to have it or anything like that. But then when I saw it. Um, a couple weeks ago I'm like wow that's really pretty and it reminded me of the lip gloss and I bought it and it is called Senorita Rosalita Senorita Rosalita and it's like a watermelony color with gold undertones so it totally reminds me of the lip gloss I've had this on my toes for like I don't know two weeks now or I don't even know actually probably not even that long um, but maybe I will insert a photo should I insert a photo of my toes maybe I will thing I want to talk about a lot of you guys asked me if I have been liking the um, origins skincare products that I talked about in my skincare haul and I have been loving them this is the starting over cream let me just show you completely gone as if it was never even full so yes I use that up completely I'm now using my um, Corez wild rose moisturizer just until I order another one of these um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna order another one of these or try a different um, lotion by origins or maybe a whole different brand I don't know but I will keep you guys updated on that but yeah the pretty much standout stars um, the past month have been my Tarte and my Sally Hansen um, I've kind of been obsessed with both with both of these um, and then my Costa Chic Mac lipstick is awesome so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have lots more coming. Um, let me know what kind of makeup tutorials you guys want to see from me. I want to do something similar to what I'm wearing right now, but let me know if you have any ideas or any requests, and I will definitely be sure to film those for you guys. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I say that in the end of all my videos. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you're having a nice weekend. It's Saturday. Yay! I might start filming like the Follow Me Around style videos like I did with my boyfriend, um, and then I'll make a vlog channel for that because... A lot of you guys said that you wanted to see those kind of things. So thank you guys so much for subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.